what I think can bring, so my short answer is digital rights, I believe, are human rights. There are a number of initiatives like the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities that talks about uh, the rights of persons with disabilities to access information, to have information protected, uh, to uh, be able to access multiple languages, sign language, and so forth, So, and accessible for, accessibility for information. So I think there are elements of digital rights that are already enshrined in ways of thinking about human rights. Uh, and so adding to that is, you know, always, uh, I'm, I'm in favor of that. And I think we should think about ways to do that. Um, you know, there's the idea of a, of a digital Geneva Convention uh, as well that Microsoft and others have promoted uh, with this idea of uh, how do you protect citizens and individuals uh, in the age of um, cyber crime and cyber attacks and, and hacking and so forth. But to answer the question about what can bring us all together, um, there's a concept called universal design uh, that also is uh, within the global disability community. So if you think about universal design uh, of a building uh, or a street where you have a, a curb cut, um, so a little ramp at the end of a corner, that's a, an accessibility feature for a person who's mobility impaired and in a wheelchair, but everybody benefits from that. If you're dragging your equipment and you're dragging to the corner and you can go up a ramp as opposed to having to pick it up and get onto the curb, it benefits you as well. Uh, captioning for, uh, uh, for sessions benefits people who are deaf or hard of hearing, but it benefits people for whom English is not their first language. It benefits people like me who do text analytics afterwards. So uh, my, my talk yesterday, I analyzed 12 years of IGF uh, transcripts to talk about some of the key elements you know, that have been talked about over 12 years uh, of the IGF. And that's because of the transcripts that were provided initially as an accessibility feature. So universal design, which was an architectural uh, concept, has been transferred to learning, has been transferred to cities. And so thinking about how do we design for everybody and how does it make it better for everybody, I think is a concept that can bring us all together uh, in the digital age.